USA History Guy. 2013 marks a half century since the last president died in office. That was John F. Kennedy when he was assassinated in Texas. So how many American presidents have died in office? The answer is eight. Four presidents have been assassinated and four have died of natural causes. Right off the bat you should know the four presidents who were assassinated. Abraham Lincoln, James A. Garfield, William McKinley, and John F. Kennedy. All four of the assassinated presidents were shot. They were all killed at different times of the day. Lincoln at night around quarter after ten. Garfield was actually killed around 9.30 in the morning. McKinley was later in the afternoon around four o'clock. And JFK uh, was actually right around lunchtime. The four presidents who died in office but were not assassinated are William Henry Harrison, Zachary Taylor, Warren G. Harding, and the last one to die of natural causes was FDR, Franklin Roosevelt. William Henry Harrison famously died after his long inauguration speech in 1841. He got pneumonia or something and lived for about 30 days and then he died. Shortest presidency in American history. Zachary Taylor had attended on the 4th of July, I believe, the groundbreaking ceremony of the Washington Monument and he went home, did not feel well, and eventually it turned out to be a fatal illness. Actually, in the 1990s, Zachary Taylor was exhumed. His body was dug up. There were some suspicions that perhaps he had been poisoned, and that would have been uh, arsenic. So they ran tests with modern science to find out if, it, if he had indeed been poisoned, and the results were conclusive that that's not what happened. Warren G. Harding and Franklin Roosevelt both died of strokes, I believe. Uh, in the middle of their presidency. You might be surprised to know that there have been over 20 attempts on sitting presidents or former presidents or presidents elect. A couple of my favorite stories are Andrew Jackson once was about to be assassinated by a gunman whose gun jammed and Jackson <laughs> didn't waste any time, promptly beat the man down with his cane. Andrew Jackson was not a passive fellow. and. Um, Teddy Roosevelt was a former president, but he was running for re-election in the campaign of 1912. He had his speech folded over in his pocket in a case when uh, a bullet was fired at him. It actually hit his speech. It wounded him, but Roosevelt went on and gave the 90-minute speech. His shirt was bleeding, and he famously said, It takes more than that to kill a bull moose. And Teddy Roosevelt's progressive party became the bull moose party. And finally, you might be curious how many vice presidents have died in office. Well, there have been seven. James Madison lost two. Man, he was like the angel of death. Vice presidents who died in office are George Clinton, Elbridge Jerry, William Rufus King. King was only the vice president for a few weeks before he died under Franklin Pierce, the president. Henry Wilson died of a stroke. He was a vice president for the much beleaguered Ulysses S. Grant. Thomas Hendricks died peacefully in his sleep. He was the vice president under Grover Cleveland. Garrett Hobart. I sympathize with Hobart. He was the VP for William McKinley, one of the presidents who was assassinated. Hobart had heart problems. He was stressed out as it was. And when McKinley asked him to fire a high-ranking member of the cabinet, Hobart did so, but he was definitely strained by the event. He, well, he fell into illness and never recovered. James Sherman had something called Bright's disease. It's not called that anymore, kidney ailment. He died under President Howard Taft, William Howard Taft, in 1912. So there you have it. Eight presidents have died in office, seven vice presidents. How many of them did you know? Comment and let me know, and subscribe, as always, for more videos.